Okay, so in today's episode of WWE Games Attention to Detail, I'm going to be featuring a few WWE games that have not been shown off in this series yet, and some games like Legends of WrestleMania that I've not shown on the channel in around four years or so. So let's start off with that game. So Legends of WrestleMania is mostly seen as a disappointment, with some WWE Games fans calling it one of the worst WWE games ever. Me personally, I think the gameplay lets the game down, although it does do some stuff really well, especially cool details. One of the first details can be found if you or your opponent has Mr. Fuji as a manager. During the match, a special move that sees Mr. Fuji throwing salt in the opponent's eye can be triggered. If done successfully, then you'll see this happen. So the person who gets the salt in the eyes will be temporarily at a disadvantage, with them also trying to rub their eyes of the salt, which is a pretty cool bit of extra detail. There's also a variation of this move that sees Mr. Fuji messing up the throw and accidentally hitting his ally in the match. Physical matchup. The manager system was a real cool feature of Legends of WrestleMania. I think it does deserve a lot more praise and attention. Continuing on with Legends of WrestleMania, the game has a mode similar to the current showcase mode that we have in WWE 2K games. This mode was called Relive, and the aim was to do just that. Relive the classic WrestleMania matches that we saw on TV by doing the things that actually happened in that match. In this mode, they really do go the extra mile to make sure every big moment is included from each match. So much detail in fact that there are moments that were in Legends of WrestleMania's take on a WrestleMania match than the WWE 2K games take on that match. For example, in Legends of WrestleMania, it's the only game that features an interactive drum kit in the Shawn Michaels vs Stone Cold match. In the WWE 2K version, this moment was completely skipped. Also in the Rock vs Austin WrestleMania 15 match, you can interact with a stage, which again happened in that match, and also once again was not possible to do in the other takes of this match in WWE 2K. Moving over to SmackDown vs Raw 2006 and going back to managers, there's a really cool bit of attention to detail if you have Davari as your manager. Throughout the match you'll hear Davari shouting things, which I have been told is in the Farsi language. Have a listen to these shouts, and if anyone does speak the language, then I'd love to hear what's being said. Let me know in the comments. Entertainment in the world, I don't know what is. Well, Whether they're, they're, they're in that America, that is, in Canada, or anywhere else summer. in the world, the Raw superstars never fail. Continuing on with SmackDown vs Raw 2006, if you win a normal match really quick, you'll hear post-match commentary where the commentators are surprised, but understandable that the loser got whooped, and the match has ended early. You talk Here's about your a winner, restaurant quality beatdown. The superstar. There's no question who won that one. Not after the referee counted the three count, JR. That's about as decisive as you can get. What an amazing match. I certainly would not be adverse to seeing a rematch. However, if you win a ladder match really quick, like in under one minute, then the commentators will be noticeably angry that the match ended so quick. That's it? No. The ref's just gonna let it end like that? Here's what choice does the referee winner. have, Taz? Rules are rules. Steven! Yeah, but this is right, Cole. I mean, come on, you gotta admit, this is a total letdown for everyone, including these superstars. There was a lot of ways I thought this one could and would go, but I never thought it would end like this. Here's Neither your winner. winner. Talk about a disappointment. Well, Steven! They're smart, Richards. They'll set up a rematch ASAP. I'm telling you right now, or they're gonna have some unhappy fans on their hands. These fans aren't happy about the way this one ended at all. I don't blame him, Cole. I'm not happy Here's about your winner. Neither am I. That kind of finish the leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Star. Boy, I don't think anyone's happy with the way that one ended. I'm sure not. What a letdown, Here's your JR. winner. We can only hope the for Super a rematch. Star. Because I don't think this settled anything. That match had so much potential. I hate to see it end like that. Me too. Here's I don't your even winner. know who came out ahead in it. Triple I don't think anyone did, King. H. I think everyone lost in that one including the WWE fans. It's a really awesome detail because when there is a ladder match in WWE, they're usually 20 minute back and forth matches with crazy moments. So for someone to just run up and get the title instantly, it's pretty cool to hear the commentators just get angry, pretty much cheated the system of how quick a ladder match can technically end. 
So if you thought earlier that Legends of WrestleMania was a WWE game that had mixed reviews, then let me introduce you to the beast that is the Raw series on the original Xbox. These games are the biggest love-hate type of WWE games I've ever seen, especially Raw 2. I've seen people put Raw 2 in the best and worst WWE games ever list. Now despite the love-hate thing with the Raw series, there's one thing that the biggest of haters won't deny. It has incredible attention to detail, and one of these details can be found in the first Raw game. If you interfere during an opponent's entrance and that opponent has entrance attire, then you can beat up that opponent until their entrance attire falls off and then you can pick up that piece of attire and put it on your character. It's a really underappreciated and fun feature in WWE games and whilst also being a fun piece of attention to detail because entrance attires don't just disappear do they? Let's move to the next game in the series, Raw 2 and whilst this detail was also in Raw 1 I thought it was better to show the Raw 2 version as there's more examples to show. So in Raw 2 if you hit a big move like a finisher for example you'll see a replay of that move whilst also being able to continue the match. This feature or detail has only been seen in the Raw series games and has never been in any other WWE game ever. In all other WWE games the action will pause for a full screen replay with the Raw games allowing the action to continue like on TV. An awesome detail right here. Keeping with Raw 2 in the season mode you can make allies and enemies by doing a bunch of different things. Keep interfering and attacking superstars well you're now enemies but if you keep checking up on your allies make sure they're well and doing good you'll actually have a chance of your good actions being rewarded. Sometimes after your match you might get sneak attack and if you have been building your relationships with an ally then you actually see this scene of your ally helping you during a post match attack. I always thought it was a cool detail for you to be rewarded for the good actions in the season mode as we're all very used to being punished for being a jerk. And the last detail that we'll look at today is found in WWE 2K15 Showcase mode. If you play through the Best Friends Bitter Enemies Showcase that retells the feud between Shawn Michaels and Triple H in 2002 to 2004 then you'll have to recreate three stages of Hell match from Armageddon 2002. The last match is a ladder match and the big ending to the match is Shawn Michaels being pushed off the ladder into four tables. Now in the actual match one of the tables didn't break at all and kind of fell to the side. That moment is actually perfectly recreated in this scene and wasn't altered in any way to be like a perfect break of four tables. Let's take a look at it. All he's got to do is climb that ladder. What is Flair doing? Flair is very active at ringside but that's what it's all about. The prize hanging above the ladder. Shawn Michaels could be just moments away. Michaels checks the scenery. Now he's going to climb the ladder. He's going to head up top king. He's looking for the championship. Well, Shawn Michaels has had the heck beat out of him, but somehow he's reaching down deep here. Make that last run. Oh, look at this. Triple H. Ah! Michaels set to a table. What a spill. Oh, my God. So that was today's WWE Games attention to details. If you have any awesome WWE Games details that must be included in future episodes, then please do let me know in the comments as I'd love to feature more and more details in this series. If you are new to the channel, then please do consider subscribing and please do like the video if you did enjoy it. Thanks as always for watching everyone and I'll see you all in the next episode of WWE Games attention to details.